anyway going going back to a bit of reality because this this does relate to the drama show but it it's it's more more to do with with the the reality behind the plays that I'm working on myself um one of which is called CD Walk which is a walk around central exeter looking at where music retail used to be and where student accommodation is being built and asking the question uh, why will the education world need so much space physical buildings in the future and um, I, 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 keep, I keep on asking that question um, th there doesn't seem to be much interest in, in any answer to it if anything things are going back back in time to the old normal whatever you want to call it um, other others, other worlds are moving on. The, the the high street, the retail world, is becoming hybrid, or thinking about it. Um, office space is is reducing. I think it's fair to say, but there's not a lot of conversation about what happens to the campus or educational resources. Anyway, that that that's I've said that before, and I'll just say it, say it again every every so often. And, and at some point uh, there'll be more response to it I think or more things to link to anyway the the news is because I was in Kendall last week the library there uh, has already done away with the CD format and now they've done away with the DVD format and I think that is um, a major event uh, it, may, it may be there's lots of other libraries that have already done that. I think in Exeter, th they both are still in stock, um, but they seem to be having less space than they they once did. And I I think there should be some sort of interest or cataloguing of what what exists, um, so that it can be replicated somehow. If everything's becoming virtual or online. We, we we ought at least to have a catalogue of what was there once. Um, you know, may, maybe Exeter Library and Devon Libraries will will carry on with that. But it, the the streaming seems to be taking that over in a way that the book uh, is surviving. So the 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 e-reader um, there are still e-readers around, but they're not they're not as promoted as they used to be. Um, so the book, the physical printed book, has survived the CD and the DVD, um, and doesn't it doesn't look as if streaming will do away with it. Um, whereas the DVD and the CD are both both go in from the libraries. So I'm I'm just suggesting in reality that we have a good look at what they represent, because I think it's it's probably slightly different to the. Um, the book uh, as in what sort of audiences it, it, it serves or where the creators come from or what topics it covers I, ca I can't be sure about that but I think it should be should be looked into um, the, o the, other, the other play or situation that I'm working on is around the ruins of, of Kendall Castle as a way of looking at the Fortress University uh, which Peter Horrocks spoke about in a lecture in, in Durham uh, four years ago, five years ago maybe now. Um, the MOOC is about 10 years old. The, the alleged year of the MOOC was 2012 when FutureLearn started and lo lo several other projects started. And I guess Peter Horrocks' lecture is about halfway through that. Um, and... He, he then, you know, I know I'm repeating this, but I, I'll, I'll say it quite quickly. Um, he, had, he had to resign, essentially, because the Open University people thought he was spending far too much money on, on FutureLearn. And that, that is quite... It's possible they had a point, because um, uh, Coursera uh, is worth a lot less than when they did their IPO. Um, so the, the success or apparent success at that time um, hasn't been sustained at the moment and uh, 2U who bought edX 
is worth less than they paid for edX so all in all maybe the whole MOOC situation some people were, were quite right to stay out of it um, but uh, it's there and uh, slightly going off at a tangent what 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 I think is going to happen is that the 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 crash that happens seems most likely this is speculation on my part um, but it does seem if you look at the Nasdaq chart it's 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 might head down quite a bit further uh, it just seems to be um, an echo of what happened in um, the turn of the century sort of 1999 to 2001 or two that sort of time but on a much bigger scale um, and so it could be it could be quite a quite a difficult phase uh, but what happened previously was people just um, re redescribed the interweb um, with other terms and slightly different companies came along and um, after a bit it, it carried on as sort of normal and then it went a bit uh, crazy again um, so something like that might happen I, I, I don't I don't know hard to hard to tell but I I'd, I'd, I'd put something like that into fiction so my my um projection of what happens with the fortress university ruins as exist in Kendall will be based on something like that happening because um, that's obviously all speculation uh, but meanwhile in Exeter um, I think the, the probably the I'm, I'm not sure how public this is going to be, but the, the there is an incubator for education research, which which becomes quite quite technical, open to web ideas. Um, but it's a it's a summertime project, and some some of it may may be in Make Tank or or accessible for people in in the city centre. I, d I don't know about that. Uh, but some something like that might might happen, but I th I think there's since this show is a reality show, not a drama show. There's a, there's about three things I'd I'd like to to find out more about. Um, tele telematics was uh, a subject area at on the St Luke's campus quite a while ago, and it, it seemed to just disappear. Um, roughly the same time that chemistry and music disappeared so I'd, I'd, I'd like to go back to unbundling as a as a topic um, the, there, was, there was research uh, partly based at, at Leeds but also Cape Town um, which resulted in a MOOC about unbundling and apparently this is quite a widespread uh, phenomenon um, universities don't do all the subjects that they once did they specialize in different ways and um, some subjects just aren't aren't covered um, so I'm just sort of guessing that telematics was one of them at one at one point uh, but also um, there is a proposal in the strategy for uh, I think it's called an Institute for Education Research which might be online or covering online topics. I, I don't think that would be the only thing, but that, that might be included in it, except that there doesn't seem to be any, any detail about, about that. Um, so that would be, be interesting, because that would, if, that's, if that's a sort of continuation of where telematics was, that would be uh, a bit more mainstream uh, research that that was sort of part of what happened all the year round with with the university um i think sort of summer projects is is great and maybe we'll find out more about about that but i i'd just like to know what's what's going on with the um permanent permanent research and the the third one is the digital humanities lab um because i'd like to check out what what their um what they're doing because it, it, it could be thought of as a studio they, they, they create all kinds of digital content uh, based on analog content but 
presumably they they can do podcasts and recordings uh, also. Uh, so that's that's um, that's a form of uh, reality there. Uh, going back to the um, Pasadena Roof Orchestra, because the uh, the the online system has come up with a, a a playlist, some of which makes sense, some of it doesn't. So I've selected from it uh, Mini, Mini the Moocher, which is from a, a, a new CD called uh, Stepping Out, or recent anyway. This was, um, this was uploaded in, in April this year. <laughs> 